In theory, it should be quite straightforward. Exercise more and eat less. Actually, <laughs> my leg starts hurting. <laughs> oh, for the day. Exercise was never my strong point, but dieting is even worse. And I've tried them all. Apple diet, cabbage soup diet, vegetables, Atkins, diet shakes, and high protein. Every new one I tried, I felt this is it. But they all ended the same way, in failure and despair. If this time is going to be different, I'm going to need some expert advice. The first thing is it's got, it has to be a lifestyle change. And that lifestyle change involves reducing calorific volume that you take in and increasing the calorific volume that you expend. There's no magic yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah. And people who talk about the Atkins diet and the grapefruit diet and all that being having magical properties and mm. they're being negative calories and all that are just totally diluted. It doesn't mm. work that way. It works by the amount of calories that you take in, mm -hmm. the amount of calories you take expend. Actually, one of the reasons that I put on weight is for diets I did, always, always come back and come back more. Yeah. yeah. Your diets don't work because you can't stay on a diet no. for the rest of your life. By definition, a diet means going on something. That's right. So it also means coming off it, which That's means right. when you come off that, your body goes back. We have this typical tick shape. Uh, return where you lose a bit of weight, but then you put on more than yes. what you lost, and that's your body saying, "Hey, uh, this was I went through a famine there. I'm going to protect myself mm. next time, so I'll mm. give myself a little bit more fat." And this is why women actually wind up fatter later in life mm. as a result of these. We call it the rhythm method of girth control: mm. up and down and up mm. and down, mm. and, and uh, eventually your metabolic rate slows down, mm. and you you put on fat much more readily as mm. you get older.